I keep getting in trouble because I keep buying Pokemon TCG cards to improve my collection. <sighs> what did I buy this time, guys? Let's find out. What's going on, Funhouse crew? Welcome back to the channel, TCG Funhouse, where we talk all things Pokemon TCG. And of course, myself, Travis, spends too much money on Pokemon cards. That's right, guys. I have a couple of decent orders here from TCG Player. There's a big theme to this video, and you guys will notice it when it comes out. Um, I like to buy undervalued, underappreciated, and affordable Pokemon TCG cards to make awesome big binders and just keep throwing cards in those binders until they're the size of you know the entire planet and i got nowhere to put them and then i'm forced to buy new binders it's a sick problem okay leave me alone but if you guys are new to the channel please drop us up we post pokemon related content three times per week sometimes four and shorts every single day here on youtube so let's start getting into our opening guys i have two packages here from tcg player both of these actually came from tcg player direct if you guys don't know what tcg player direct is some big sellers have the option to sign up for tcg player direct which means they just send a bunch of cards that they have loaded up to tcg player for tcg player to stash away put in their little rows and their little organization tools and then as they sell tcg player ships them out directly if you are a mass single seller it's a great way to actually save money on shipping and things like that and yes i know you keep staring at it this is an amazing brand new Rayquaza pokemon center tcg hat it's not a tcg hat i don't know why i said that it's a pokemon hat but it's really really cool guys you can go pick them up for 19.99 over on pokemoncenter.com i wish i had an affiliate link for it but i don't and this one is in a different package but it is still tcg player direct so um let's dive right in and see what we have i've been holding on to this one um for about three weeks now i was waiting for my other one to come in because i placed this order a little bit later but it's finally here so let's open it up and see what's inside um i don't know um if, if it mentions the actual sellers themselves so it is hard to tell so yes it looks like all of these cards came from the same seller these all came from uh i just had it here dave adams card world he's one of the bigger sellers on tcg player for pokemon i have bought cards from him before um so that's always good to know and if you guys notice the trend of today's video go ahead and let me know down in the comment section if you can kind of see where i'm headed with my purchases so i'm gonna set this just like right here oh where's that thing at i'm trying to there is 46 total cards in this package and I spent a total of $142.44 on this package alone Don't tell Amanda, please um, But let's start getting into the cards guys right here on top is Steelix EX Steelix EX all the cards I purchased are in near mint condition guys Look at that. Okay looks great looks great definitely definitely near mint i don't see anything wrong with this card so goodbye there i won't look at every single one in this much detail especially since i got two steelixes um ex this is from uh oh gosh what set is this from um steam siege potentially fates collide it's right around that era that whole break era um i believe is what this card is from so there we go, two good Steelix EXs. I now have my light on. I did not have my light on for a second there, but now it is. Um, and then we're moving right into the Diancy EX. We can see the cards a little bit better. I like to shine the light on them right here. This is a great way to see if there's creases, dings, niches, things like that that you wouldn't see otherwise. Um, this is a great way to just get a light, shine it on every little inch of the card, and that's how you can get a good visual of it. This card looks fantastic. Another near mint condition card. Deonsi EX from Fates Collide. Now, this is what I don't like about TCG Player. Is they are very quite inconsistent about sleeving and shipping your cards. So here we go. We got one, we got six Genesect EXs. Six Genesect EXs. They're all in near mint condition. They look fantastic. I don't see problems with any of them. But none of them are inside even penny sleeves, right? 
So no penny sleeves for these cards whatsoever, which is a huge bummer because I know that Dave Adams Card World would not ship cards like this himself. Um, most sellers are very particular the way they ship and then like TCG player themselves just kind of throw caution into the wind. It's absolutely insane to me um, how they do that sometimes. But six Genesect EXs, and if you haven't found, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, trend yet, that's, that's a shame. Obviously, I'm going with the EX trend. Um, I think the XY era and the black and white era are extraordinarily undervalued. These are also from Fates Collide. Um, I'm going to put these in the Dragon Shield sleeves. Um, Dragon Shield, guys, the best sleeves on the market. If you want the best way to protect your cards, unlike how TCG Player sends them out, use the affiliate link in the description below to get your own Dragon Shield sleeves best on the market. And I get a little kickback in return. This is the golden matte finish here. And then, of course, it's gold on the inside as well. Just for collecting, these are the best sleeves for your gold cards. They look awesome in a binder with the gold cards, the gold sleeve. It's fantastic. And it's a good way to just, like, you know, sh just throw your weight around a little bit when you're doing the Pokemon tournaments. Be like, bro, I got the golden sleeves, the golden deck. But link is down there, guys. Um, no discount code for that one because, they, you know, they like to keep it that way. But... I get a little kickback. You get the best sleeves on the market. I'll sleeve up the rest of those Genesex later on. Here we go, guys. Golem EX. Beautiful card right here. This is from one of the break sets as well. I don't remember exactly which one, but another good-looking card. A little nick up on the top right there, but that's okay. I would not consider this anything less than near mint. I love Golem. You guys know I like my Kanto cards. Another one right here, guys. Embor. The cool thing, too, about Dra Dragon Shield is they have over like 15 different colors so here's the red one to go right there the fire type pokemon go in the red sleeves so like if you're an ocd collector get blue for water green for grass red for fire it's a really cool way to make your collection look different and stand out from others um but the Imbor ex gyarados ex one of my favorite purchases from this lot is two shiny gyarados exs i love this card so much this is from breakpoint and these are great condition. Another one where um, there's a little bit of some whitening up on top. But again, nothing to just really throw me off um, too, too much. You know, that one's kind of pushing near mint condition. But again, I'm not buying mint. I'm not buying gym mint 10s or 9s, anything like that. So uh, Shiny Gyarados EX. Sizor EX, also from Breakpoint. This is the same card that came in the collection box. But this is the Breakpoint one in particular. Another favorite purchase of this one is the Tyranitar. Tyranitar EX, absolutely phenomenal cards. These uh, these look great as well. So a little bit of whitening on top of this Tyranitar, but not too bad. Tyranitar EX, guys, absolutely great. Rayquaza, one of the best Pokemon to add to your collection at any time is Rayquaza. And these are from Roaring Skies, the standard EX card from Roaring Skies. So good. This this whole era is undervalued. The whole era is completely undervalued. And I like doing these kinds of videos because you guys can see some of the older cards. Because I know a lot of collectors didn't come into the TCG until Sword and Shield era. So a lot of you missed the Sun and Moon era. And you definitely missed the X and Y era back in 2014-15 when nobody was collecting Pokemon cards really. Um, and here is the Thunderous EX Another beautiful card right there. I have not had any any condition discrepancies whatsoever. Um, the Dragonite here looks great as well. Dragonite EX. Awesome stuff. Kangaskhan EX. Again, I believe this is from Flashfire. This also came inside the Kangaskhan G, uh, EX box. A little bit of whitening down here. Um, but this one is the actual card that you pull. Um, same thing with this Venusaur. I believe this was a Black Star promo and a 10 as well. But this is from um, Sword and Shield. X and Y base set. My favorite Pokemon from the entire X and Y era right here, Eveltal. I love Eveltal. This card is great. This card looks a little sus. I'm going to take a deeper look at that card. It looks a little bit sus. Let me know in the comment section what do you guys think of this card. Um... I don't know why it just it looks it gives it's a little bit give me a different vibe i'm not saying that it's wrong um it very well could be good but it just give me a different vibe i'm going to inspect that one in a little bit and the picture looks very very like clearish we'll see i wish i bought two 
So it looks like they're pretty consistent about when you buy more than one of a card, they don't put it in a penny sleeve. So that's a bum skis. Keldeo EX right here. Three Keldeos, Nearman condition. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. EX cards. I'm telling you guys, XY undervalued. Blaziken. Two, three Blazikens. All right, so as soon as I said you buy multiples, they don't put them in sleeves, and I get three Blazikens. They're all in their own penny sleeve. So I don't know what's going on. There's no rhyme or reason to TCG Player Direct. Um, they always seem to come this way, though. They always seem to come like a third of the cards are just not in penny sleeves, which is strange. Um, three Blazikens. Again, another fan favorite Pokemon. All look fantastic. Blaziken EX right there. These are promo cards. They came from a tin, I believe. Hoopa EX, absolutely awesome. Love these cards. More Black Star promos. And again, I bought three of these. Not inside penny sleeves. So there you go, right? Um, still great. Latios EX, beautiful card right here. Black Star promo. This is from the Latios 10. I have a few of those already. Uh, Machamp EX, one of my favorite Pokemons. This is from the Machamp 10. If you guys came back into the Pokemon TCG around early 2020, the Latios and Machamp 10s were probably some of the ones that you were still able to find out at the stores that had some older cards inside. Uh, more Rayquaza time right here. These are Black Star promos from the Rayquaza 10s. Phenomenal cards right here. You got to look at the top centering and the bottom centering on these cards because the way that the plastic used to hold the Black Star promos sometimes would leave indentions up here on these cards. But these ones look great. No complaints here. Definitely near mint condition. Swampert EX3, Swampert EX, more Black Star promos from the Swampert box. Um, it looks like we're in Black, we're yeah, we're in we're in Black Star territory here, guys. Venusaur from the ten, again, Kanto starter, always a good buy. Shiny Evelta. So a lot of people don't know that there's an Evelta and a Xerneas Black Star promo that are shiny variants that were inside tens. Um, this is an Evelta one. Again, one of my favorite Pokemon from the entire. X and Y era, so I had to pick up another one of those. Uh, Keldeo EX, Black Star promo, and then two Reshiram EX, Black Star promos as well. Again, I don't see any issues. No dents on top or the plastic where it held it. Um, looks great. Looks phenomenal. Super happy with this package. Um, I'm wondering if the next box is going to look pretty much the same. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section of the EX era, the X and Y era. I think it's extraordinarily undervalued, like full on, full on. So um, here we go, guys. A lot of different sellers here. So that package uh, was all from Dave Adams Card World, even though they were all TCG Player Direct. They were all from one buy or one one seller, which was cool. Now this order is sporadic. This is all over the place with my purchases. I'm just gonna list off the sellers here right now. Adventure on alternate universes, Columbus card shop, down to game, XP, EXP gaming lounge, freedom, SYP, frog town hobbies, little root games, super games, Inc. The next level games, gaming co and top cut central. So those are my purchases. If you guys have bought from any of those, leave in the comment section, a nice little review. And yes, guys, we're continuing the XY era and black and white era train with some EX cards because I am loving this. Here we go. Gardevoir EX. Beautiful. This is from Steam Siege, I believe. It's got the half psychic, half fairy typing. I really wish they would bring that back. This card looks like in phenomenal shape once again. Now, this card does have a little bit of bowing action going on. And even places like PSA and Beckett don't take off for a little bit of bowing because sometimes you can't really control that. So um, first card not inside of a sleeve is Altaria EX from Fates Collide. And then we got Darkrai. You guys know how much I love Darkrai. I will always, always add Darkrai Hollows and uh, rever not reverses, Ultra Rares when I have the opportunity to because I love them so much. So picked up some more Darkrai EXs. I believe this is from... Uh, Oh, gosh, what is that symbol? Um, ooh, one of the breaks? One of the break ones? I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. I've seen that symbol so much. There's another one right there. Um, Ho-Oh EX, guys. Ho-Oh EX, beautiful artwork. Hogi uh, Hogias. Lugias and Ho-Ohs are always worth picking up. The Johto box art legendaries. Phenomenal cards. Fan favorites. This one might have a little bit of an issue. Nope, that was on the sleeve itself. So... 
Not too bad right there. Picking up some Ho-Oh EXs. Shout out BDSP. I've been playing that a lot more lately. I actually prefer it over Legends Arceus. So sue me. Uh, Palky EX bringing that in. Galade. This was kind of a throw-in card. It was like I think it was 99 cents. Um, Galade is whatever. But here we go, guys. Get into the better ones now. Mewtwo EX. Look at that. Beautiful card from Breakthrough. Standard Ultra Rare. Uh, looking good on the condition. Don't see any problems with it whatsoever. So I have not had one card that I want to complain about or return yet. Uh, my favorite purchase from this lot are these two Garatina EX cards. I love the artwork on this Garatina. It's origin form, which you can get in BDSP. I'm going to be working on getting that. It's going to be so much fun. These were about $9 to $10 a piece. These are the most expensive cards in this order um, so yeah, I mean, I just, I couldn't say no, I really couldn't, um, Hoopa EX, a couple more good pickups right here, beautiful cards, I love the artwork on it, Hoopa Unbound, very menacing, scary looking Pokemon, you guys know I love that, Lugia, picking up some of these Lugia cards right here, just like the Ho-Oh cards, look at that, awesome, awesome artwork right there, let's take a look at the back of these, look at the, this one's got a little bit of whitening on top, not too bad, but a little bit of whitening, sleeve is all gunky, kind of gross on the sleeve but lugia cards right there this actually showed up on my undervalued cards list not too long ago um absolutely phenomenal hydragon again kind of like another throw-in card i believe this was from roaring skies and then Rayquaza ex again another ultra rare from evolving sky or evolving skies roaring skies amazing artwork again guys Rayquazas, mewtwo's ho-oh's lugias when you're adding those to your collection it's phenomenal. My binder is going to look stacked. I will definitely add... I will throw this one. It's just so bright looking. Like, this one is very similar as well. Let me find my other... Uh, let me find my other Eveltal that I was looking at earlier. It just felt a little weird. The other Eveltal just felt a little weird. But let's, let's take a look at these side by side and uh, see if they are... Let's see here. They look exactly the same. So, I'm going to give a green light on all on both of these here. They look exactly the same. This one's got some whitening on it. That's okay. It's near mint condition. Um, not too bad. Keldeo EX right there. Once again, uh, that's actually I believe that's a different Keldeo from the other ones I bought. And then lo and behold, some more non-penny sleeved cards here. Black Kiram EX. These actually became very easy to find when those Kiram boxes re-released out to the world again. So these were, I want to say these were like a dollar a piece, a dollar, dollar ten for the Black Kiram, Black Kiram and White Kiram cards um, right here. So there's the three of the White Kirams. I do like Kiram. Black and White Era, I believe, is an underrated set, or just an underrated era. It catches a lot of crap because people hated that there was no national decks in it and you had to use Black and White Unova Pokemon. I think it's a fantastic idea they did that, and I'm glad they did back when I was playing them. A um, couple more cards, unsleeved, poor Black Kiram, getting no love. Um, Ho-Oh right here. Ho-Oh EX. This is the third Ho-Oh. Different artwork on this one. Beautiful card right here. Love it. Good stuff. It looks like, uh, yeah, that's in good condition right there. Not too shabby. More Hoopa action. Black Star promo. Hoopa Unbound right there. Not in the penny sleeve. Come on. Do better. All right. Now we're getting into my favorites of the lot, the Mewtwo's. I'm a big Mewtwo person. I love adding Mewtwo's to my collection. We got a couple of Black Star Mewtwo's right here. Mewtwo EX, and then a couple more Black Star um, Mewtwo promos right here as well. Great cards. They all look to be in fantastic near mint condition. Of course, I'll take all of these out of these penny sleeves. This is even like a jumbo penny sleeve. This is the perfect fit size penny sleeve for top loader spits. Um, but yeah, awesome cards right there, guys. So yeah, so um, about $300 um, in... EX cards. Um, I got, I want to say over a hundred in total. Um, nope, I got about, I got about 89. I got about 89 cards in total between multiple different sellers, but they all came TCG player direct. Let me know guys down in the comment section. What did you think about today's purchase? Would you like to add these EX cards to your lot? So, and the one thing that I want you guys to remember is I spent, this is, I got here, I got about 89 cards, 89, 90 cards right here just like this guys okay and i spent just under 300 dollars um i spent about 270 bucks don't tell my wife and think about how much product you would buy for 270 bucks right 
and then compare it to the 89 Ultra Rares. All these cards are over five years old at this point. Um, and there's a lot of Chase Pokemon. There's Mewtwo's, Rayquaza's. Excuse me. Gosh, jeez, man. My soda. I need to stop drinking soda. It's so bad for me. Um, Ho-Oh's, Lugia's, all that stuff included. Um, you could buy potentially, you know, five elite trainer boxes, six ETBs. Um, add your pulls up into that. Would you get 89 ultra rares or better? Yes, it takes away this, the option of getting like that big banger. But this is the consistent way. This is how you make sure your collection at least improves in value or maintains value over time to where when you're opening product consistently, you're losing money almost every single time. So let me know down in the comment section, what do you guys think? What are you buying right now via singles, TCG player, Troll and Toad? Where do you like to buy? eBay, let me know. Let's talk about it down there. Any big buys recently? Any fan favorites that I should keep an eye out for? Let me know. Let's talk about it. If you're new to the channel, guys, drop a sub. Greatly appreciated. Smash that like button if you enjoyed today's content. It really, really helps out. And I hope, I hope, 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 I see you in the next video.